Hello and welcome to our webinar, Five Ways Integrative EMR Technology Can Foster Practice Growth. Before we begin, I'd like to run through a few housekeeping items. The slideshow and lecture portion of the webinar will last about a half hour, and we've saved time at the end for a Q&A. If you'd like to ask a question, just use the GoToWebinar control panel. Look for the gray bar labeled questions. Click it and a chat screen will appear. Feel free to try that out now. We'll funnel all questions to Adam. Additionally, the webinar slides and a copy of the recording will be emailed to you tomorrow. And finally, we will have all audio set to mute with the exception of our presenter. Now on to tonight's presentation. This evening's speaker, Adam Puckhammer, is the president of Power to Practice, a specialized EMR and practice management platform built for functional and integrative care. He has more than 15 years of experience in leadership roles in healthcare operations, nutraceuticals, and software development. Adam is passionate about fostering the growth of the integrative and functional medicine communities and works closely with practitioners around the country, giving them the tools and resources to build successful, thriving practices. Adam earned an undergraduate degree from the University of Illinois and holds an MBA from National Lewis University. He has received numerous awards for excellence from physicians and led a successful launch of a new satellite lab, establishing best practices and improving efficiencies. Now, I have the pleasure of introducing you all to Adam. Thank you, Kristen, and welcome everybody to the webinar today. Very excited to share some of this information with you. Um, we'll be talking about ways integrated EMR technology can fast, uh, foster practice growth. If we look at the landscape today, there are a few ways that practices can do their charting. Um, the one way we see, which is very minimal right now, is paper charting. Um, and most of this, far and few between, um, doctors are doing this because technology is really driving everyone to use an EMR. There's conventional medicine software like Epic and Cerner, which are generally hospital-based systems. Um, and then there's software built for specialized care. One of the things you should really ask yourself when you're looking at EMR technology and assessing which one to use are, what are the goals? And I would ask you, are you meeting your patient expectations? Is the software allowing you to provide exceptional care? And does it allow you to grow profits? Recently, the AMA even put out an article about EHR vendor selection. And one of the key points that they offered were identify your goals. And so as we talk about the presentation today and go through some key areas, continually think about how these can meet the goals of your practice. I've been in the integrated medicine space for over 10 years, and I've spent uh, a lot of time in individual doctor's office. Prior to that, I spent in a hospital system, and the one thing I heard over and over again was, I hate my EMR. It's a lot of work, and it doesn't do what I want it to do. I've lost time. I've lost money. It overwhelms staff. It's not connected with the patient, and ultimately, it just leads to an abundance of frustration. And why has a lot of this occurred? A lot of this problem has occurred because most systems are built for insurance. They're built to accommodate the insurance world and never really thought about what the patient needed and never really thought about the workflows that were necessary regardless of the setting. Even in conventional hospital systems, they're very uh, task, uh, task intense, which makes it very problematic. When we started Power to Practice, our founder quickly realized there was a need for a system that helped practices grow and thrive. So today we're going to dive into five key areas of technology that can help your growth. If you've ever experienced any of these problems, I want you to think about them as we go through each of them. From a provider perspective, 90% of the time is spent seeing patients, and 90% of your patient charting is your notes, ordering your labs, and ordering your medications. These are the three most common things you're going to be doing as a provider as it relates to electronic charting. So let's talk about one thing. We won't talk about medications because I want to talk more importantly about supplements. Most providers treat supplements just like medications. And there's a lot of challenges with conventional systems or paper systems. One is there's nowhere to really enter it in the chart, and if there is, it's a very manual entry. 
there's no paper trail for supplement history. Generally, you're handwriting dosing for patients, and in most practices, they have inventory of these supplements, and you're using a different system or hand doing some type of inventory management. It's not effective, and oftentimes things get missed. Patients are calling on a regular basis saying, what are my supplements? When am I supposed to take them? What are they for? Ultimately, patients stop taking them and forget about them because they don't even remember. Supplements with an integrated EMR should make your life a lot easier. One, it's automatic charting. Your supplements are in the system, and you can easily just add what the patient is taking. Inventory management. A software system should manage your inventory from start to finish so that you know if you're running low on any supplement. Obviously, if the supplement's not in stock, that's lost revenue for you. Integration with an online ordering, a virtual dispensary. Some providers will say, you know what, the virtual dispensaries only offer maybe a 35% uh, revenue, where if I do it in my office, it offers 50%. I will really challenge you on that, and I've seen it time and time again. One thing to think about is if you're keeping inventory, I always have doctors think about, instead of having supplements on the shelf, think about $20 bills on the shelf and a whole stack of them that you're trying to manage. $20 bills go missing. They get disorganized. It's hard to track. All these things result in not a 50% margin. More importantly, is if you make a recommendation out of an EMR, there's an 80% fulfillment rate that the data shows. That means 80% of your recommendations, your patients are actually fulfilling. Even more importantly, though, is the reoccurring orders. In a typical office setting, a patient might come back to your office once or maybe twice to get that supplement. The data shows when you're using an EMR technology with a virtual dispensary, that you can get seven to nine times the reorders. So why is it that you can get reorders? Because it's convenient. It's simple. It's easy. Patients want things that are quick and simple. They don't have time to drive across town to an office. And it, it's the same for all of us. When we want something, we log on to Amazon, we order it to our house. Patients want that same convenience, especially when it comes to supplements. They want a reminder that says, hey, you should be running low, it's time to order, or even I just want to have my supplements on auto order so they show up every month. Having the ability to print supplement summaries with dosing instructions. This saves so much time for your staff and for you that patients can go home with a summary of not only their medications, but their vitamins saying, here's what you're supposed to take, here's when you're supposed to take it, whether it's with food or without food, all this drives patient compliance. And lastly, populating a supplement history. Knowing the patient's history of their vitamin is important in the continuity of care. Just like medications, some supplements are not going to work for patients. You need to be able to quickly go back in time and look at the different supplements that you've made recommendations for and see what's working for your patient and what's not. Ultimately, supplements with your integrated EMR should make your life easier and make, uh, drive patient compliance. So we talked a little bit about supplements. Let's talk about other areas that your practice will be looking at. Some of these modalities you may offer, some you may not, but let's talk about a few of them, IV therapy in particular. Conventional systems are going to have very simplistic IV therapy in a sense that you're getting a drip at 100 mLs an hour, and that's it. They're not accounting for what an integrated medicine practice is doing. First, you're going to have maybe six or eight chairs in your IV room that are all happening simultaneous. In addition to that, there are going to be multiple formulas. Maybe you're using a Myers cocktail or an executive stress that has, you know, five to 20 ingredients. You need to, one, be able to quickly add that so all your ingredients show up in your standard dosing, but also quickly be able to chart on all the key components. And having an integrated EMR that can do that is going to make things a lot easier for you. Custom compounds. Conventional systems do not allow for custom compounds. In an integrated platform, you can quickly order compounds with the ingredients you want. 
Maybe you use a blend of three or four different ingredients that you want to save and continually use, and then just change dosing based on the patient. You should be able to quickly and easily do that within seconds. Image and aesthetics. Whether you're doing aesthetics or maybe you're doing a weight loss program, you want to be able to document on images and then also track images. One of the most powerful tools providers can do with their patients is show patients what was at the beginning when they first started seeing them and show progression over time. If you think about a weight loss patient or an aesthetic patient, they first come in, maybe a year later they've had a year's worth of treatment, they forget about the progress they made. It's great as a provider that you can go and show side-by-side -side photos of the progress they've made. And lastly, custom notes. This is an area where you're going to spend an immense amount of time and you want something that's highly customizable that works for the way you practice medicine. Most of the providers have their own template that they've used, whether it's from a mentor or something they created on their own. You want to have the flexibility to be able to take a note the way you want to take it. Let's talk about one other area a little bit deeper, which is labs. With most systems, you're going to see that they integrate with your conventional labs, whether it's Quest or LabCorp. But the systems out there conventionally are not going to accommodate specialty labs, Genova, SpectraCell, DRT, Dutch. And as an integrated provider, you're probably using three, four, five different labs to get the results you're looking for. So let's go through the process of what happens when you're ordering labs and getting results. First, you're going to fill out a lab requisition form where your staff is. They're going to have to enter all this data. The patient's going to have their test done. The results are either emailed, faxed, or usually they're just lost somewhere either in cyberspace or the fax machine. And then you have to call the lab and try to get the results resent over and your patient's sitting there wondering why you don't have them. And then you have to get those results and somehow get them into your chart. All of this takes time, energy, and just is not efficient. When ordering with an EMR, you should be able to quickly generate a lab requisition and not have to fill out a lot of information because all the patient's demographic information is included. The patient gets their test, and then the results populate directly into the chart, oftentimes creating a task or a notification that you need to review results. One of the great things about having an EMR system is that you are going to not only going to get notified, but you're also going to be able to see historical trends over time. So if you think about a marker like a high sensitivity CRP, you want to see trends over two years and how you've made improvement. And you'll also want your patients to see that. So ordering with an integrated EMR will make your life much easier. So we talked a little bit about some of the most common areas that a provider can use EMR technology but what about your patients, and how can we drive patient engagement using a patient portal through EMR technology? Docs will lose patients, and oftentimes their only solution to losing a patient is to get new patients. And it costs seven, it's seven times more expensive to acquire a new patient than it is just to keep an existing one. More importantly, your probability of selling to an existing patient, you're 70% more likely, and your probability of selling to a new patient is only 20%. It's so important to look at patients and what you can do to drive retention. Having a technology as an extension of your practice can oftentimes help engagement and loyalty. So let's talk about a few things that EMRs can do to help drive this. Appointment scheduling, online scheduling. Patients want to go and schedule their appointment when it's convenient for them. Oftentimes it's 7 or 8 o'clock at night when they remember that they need to make an appointment. Or it might be in a, during a busy day where they just don't have time to call and they want to do it online. I've been trying to schedule an eye doctor appointment for like nine months. Every time I remember, it's 8 o'clock at night and I can't schedule because they don't have an online scheduling system. Health information. Patients want access to their health care. They want to be engaged and they want to take control of their health care. Giving them access to their lab results, 
treatment plans, lifestyle tracking, the ability to message you, allows you to deliver the highest level of care. Lastly, giving providers education. Power to Practice has a, a handful of education pieces that you can use in your practice, and you can also upload education materials to the library. One of the important things is doctors that have education, it builds credibility and loyalty. You want to be the central hub for their health information and drive your patients back to your EMR or your website to continually get information. So we talked a little bit about the providers. We talked about patients. Let's talk about your office staff and efficiency. One of the things that most offices have is not just one system, but three, four, or five systems. They might have a system for billing. They might have a system for their intake forms and inventory. They might have a different system for scheduling. And with all these systems, there's a lot of data duplication, which ultimately leads to a lot of errors. It also creates a training nightmare if you have new staff and trying to train them on all these different systems. You want to look for EMR technology that has all those things in one place to make it easier for your staff. Things like intake forms, where staff can electronically send these forms to be signed and filled out, and patients can do it when it's convenient for them at the privacy of their own home. Having a system that manages inventory and alerts them if something's starting to run low. Having alerts of maybe a patient needs a refill or the doc needs something in a room makes it very easy. Having access to everyone's calendar in one glance, so if a patient calls in and needs different treatments, they can look across multiple calendars and get things scheduled accordingly. All these different components will make it much easier for your staff. One of the last things we need to talk about after looking at providers, at patients, at staff is Practice profitability in reporting. Doctors in general love data. They love research, they love graphs, they love reading about it. But when you ask them about the data on their own business and their own practice, they oftentimes aren't sure what it looks like. And you want a system and a technology that gives you that information so you can make vital decisions about your practice. Let's take an example. The average integrative medicine doctor has seven to 15 visits. So we're going to take the day five exactly appointments a week. The average visit cost in the U.S. is $350. On average, five patients will not show up to their appointment. That is a weekly revenue loss of $1,750. When we look at this over time, it's over $90,000 of lost revenue per year. Your technology should be helping you improve critical data trends as this one. So let's dive into a few other areas of data and understanding what kind of EMR technology you show. How many patients have you had? How many patients have had one appointment and never returned again? That's a, a vital piece of information. If you have patients coming in once that have never come back before, you want to understand what's going on and why those patients haven't come back. You may even want to explore different things. P2P offers a online reputation management so you can quickly get feedback after your appointment. Product sales. What products are selling the most? What products are selling the least? You want to know what inventory to have on hand service levels. What services are you offering? Which ones are most profitable for you? Which ones are the least profitable for you? And making decisions on maybe it's time to take out a service that's not working. New patients and patient demographics. Where are your patients coming from? What do they look like? You want to be able to drive critical marketing decisions based on demographics, diagnoses that you're oftentimes seeing. Payments, where are all your payments coming from? And are you balancing at the end of every day? 
And lastly, outstanding balances. I always recommend that you don't carry any balances out of practice, but if you decided you, you are taking balances, you want to know where they're at on a daily basis, and make sure you're following up with all those patients that have outstanding balances. Knowing your data is going to help you with revenue, with expenses, and driving critical business decisions for your practice. So as a recap, we talked about patients, we talked about providers, we talked about staff, and we talked about some of the critical areas in ways integrative technology can help foster your practice grow. I'd like to just take a, a few minutes and talk about power to practice and some of the things that we've done to help in these areas. First, we were developed by an integrative medicine provider. He quickly identified there was a need for technology to help practices that do this type of medicine and offer a wide variety of modalities that are not driven by insurance. Our P2P core system offers these flexible note-taking templates. They offer vitamins and supplements, easily charting hormones, and making it easier for the provider to see patients. We make it easy for your office staff so they can easily schedule appointments and you can grow your practice. And lastly, we've made a robust patient portal where patients can schedule their own appointments, request refills, and have access to different educational tools. We'd be more than happy to schedule demos. We'll leave some contact information here. I want to thank everybody for their time today, and if you have any questions, we'll take those now. Okay, thank you, Adam. Uh, we do have a couple questions that um, uh, we wanted to go through tonight. So you did met, you made mention of a online reputation and an EMR. How can you specifically utilize that, and kind of could you go a little more into it? Yep. So with Power to Practice specifically, we offer an online reputation management. So when a patient checks out of their appointment, they get a text alert asking how their visit was. Interestingly, you get an answer of, yes, I'd like to make a referral, or uh, I wasn't happy. And when somebody's not happy, you get at the office, get an alert, and it's going to tell you why the patient wasn't happy. This is a critical time. I encourage the provider to call the patient directly to see what they can do to make it better. Or if they were happy, and this is a great area, then it asks them to leave feedback on Google, Facebook or Yelp. People don't realize, but more and more individuals, especially in the millennial age, are looking at reviews all the time and it's driving decisions on which provider they want to see. Having a strong online profile helps get new patients. Um, another thing that uh, seems to come up a lot and has come up in this presentation too is how do you know what a fair cost is for an EMR? Yeah, the EMR is your operating system for your practice. So you have to think of this as a very critical piece in your practice. You want to ask that EMR, how often do they have downtime? Because that's going to affect your business. But they are running the core of your business. So think about all the different systems that you're purchasing, whether it's QuickBooks, your, you know, your inventory management system, and then you can really make a decision on what you should be paying for your software and what it does for you. Um, the next question, so how do patients directly schedule appointments with Power to Practice? So patients can call in or they can request appointments. Um, and very soon they'll actually be able to pick a provider and a date and actually put their name in on the schedule directly if the provider opts in for that feature. We've, uh, over the years, many of our doctors wanted just requests for appointments and times because oftentimes patients don't understand what type of appointment they're looking for. Um, and we were, we followed that and we've had more and more doctors request that they just wanted to be able to get patients right on the schedule. So we have accommodated that for our providers. Okay. 
Well, I think that's all the questions we had, unless anyone else wanted to submit a question uh, through the chat feature. Um, otherwise, I just wanted to say thank you to Adam for joining us tonight. Like he mentioned, um, the contact info is on the screen if you wanted to schedule a demo with a member of their team. Uh, otherwise, as a reminder, we'll send you access to the recording and presentation slides tomorrow. Uh, and I hope everyone has a great night. Thank you.